Happy Sunday, beautiful people. It is Sunday, December the 4th, 2022, day 279 of year four of reading through books of the law and the prophets on the four-year consecutive day count, day 1,299. Today, we're picking back up in the book of off on page 172. When we get done, we're going to hop right over into chapter seven, countless mental vagaries on page 159. So let's get started. And Father, we thank you that you are the stream of life. You say hey to everybody though. Facebook, hey, hey, hey. Hold on, let me go back. Anita, greetings. Renette, shalom. Auntie Melinda Brown, great rising. Kendra, shalom. Tabitha, shalom, shalom. Elijah, grand rising, beloved. Ema, grand rising. Dawn, grand rising. Hannah, grand rising. Netso, rai, yahoo. Sup? Animalistic nature, peace, peace. And everybody else here hanging out in the background. Top of the day to you. All right, y'all, let's get started. Let's see how much ground we can cover today. Okay. Okay, chapter eight. In the Waspy, Book of Af. This up here. Okay. Neph, God of earth, said, Behold, O Af, son of Jehovah, by the power and magnificence of thy work am I bewildered in thy presence, who came so near the Almighty. Who but Jehovah hath attained beyond the power of thy soul? Who hath a wisdom like unto thee, save the great creator? Thou hast stretched a line beyond the moon, and by thy spoken word crushed in the side of the great earth as if it were nothing. Thou hast said, Arise, and the world move at thy command. Yea, thou hast love and esteem of millions of gods and goddesses. And thou camest against the winds of the earth, saying, Turn ye hither, or turn ye thither. And lo, the winds move before thy words as an obedient child to its father's voice. Thou calledest down the fire of heaven, it cometh at thy bidding. And thou sayest, O Jehovah, put thy hand under the heavens of the earth, and straightway a light and floor as wide as the earth fly into the place of thy desire. Now behold, thou hast said, O Jehovah, I surrender my commission. I have finished that which thou commandest me to do. Wherefore, O Af, my soul have great sorrow, but because thou hast labored a hundred days and cleaned up the whole earth and her heavens as one as one might sweep the floor of a house, I am bowed down in gratitude. Then Af, son of Jehovah, said, O Jehovah, what have I done that thy, that thy son's love have come to me? So far as I have become one with thee, thou everlasting creator, so thou showest me plainer and plainer that I am nothing. And yet thy son heapest praise upon me, seeing I am but as a figure moved by thy hand. Shall a man lose sight of the Almighty? Nevertheless, O Jehovah, who so weak as I? Who so weak? I'm sorry. Who so weak in love as I, thy servant? Because thou hast quickened me in wisdom and power, so hast thou made my love as a place that can never be supplied to the field. How shall I find strength to leave this, thy son, on the far off earth? Will I not glory in his love and great esteem? And yet know I not that I will repine because I have him not with me? Hear me, O Jehovah, for I will measure thy son with swiftness, scarce 40,000 years, raised up to Ethera, and yet thou hast made him God of heaven and earth. For 3,000 years struggled he in the battle against evil and darkness, and the broad heavens and the Ethereal world looked on in sympathy and love and hope because of his tenacity and wisdom and power. It was as one man fighting against a house on fire and the place filled with helpless babes. Yes. What is this? It's a measure on top. What did you think it was? The thing that Bella put her fish in and accidentally left it in the car. It could be. That's what she is said it? it was too. 
Well, it looks like a miniature fish tank. It does. I'm almost certain, though, that it goes to my, um, uh, it goes to my little storage set, but she said it's her fish tank. It does look like her fish tank, but I think it's my measuring bowl because it has measurements on both sides. Mom. But she believes it's her fish tank, so Mom. I let her take it. Mom. Yes. I'm going to switch it back because that downtime is over. We're going to get the battle pass. Uh, uh, right. We're going yeah, yeah. to make sure the living room and my loft clean. Yeah, yeah. and pull yourself ears. together this morning. Okay. Verse 6, page 73. Hear me, O Jehovah, for I will measure thy son with swiftness. Scarce 40,000 years raised up to Ethereum, and yet thou madest him God of heaven and earth. For 3,000 years struggled he in the battle against evil and darkness and the broad heavens in the Ethereum world. Looked on in sympathy and love and hope because of his tenacity and wisdom and power. It was as one man fighting against a house on fire and the place filled with helpless babes. And yet... Thy God ceased not, nor once rested and said, It is useless, but forever renew the battle in new ways and stratagems, as a light showeth better in the dark. So did thy son Neph, O Jehovah, move the souls of even gods and goddesses in thy exalted heavens. Then came thy voice, O Father, saying, Go thou, O Af, my son, and deliver the earth and beheld the congregating of gods and goddesses, so eager to fly to the assistance of thy honored son. All right, son. So, you already know I me. Mean. I think I might come up with the decision of working two jobs. Um, you know, it's, it's about the hustle right now. Um, character development. It's this woman's fault that I'm like this. But at the same time, it's a, a fault. It's, yeah. not a, it's not a fault, but more so a gift. And also, my dad's, I can be a lone wolf. I don't need niggas for this. Um, you know, that that just runs in me. I, I'm like, bro, I go to the gym alone. People can't do that nowadays. I go in there to butt crack a dawn, working out. Everybody wait, walk in there. Wait, first of all, you come jumping in this video like this is not like like a whole morning devotion type thing. I know, I haven't popped in, in a while. What, I have to pop in. And what oh, you're and, talking and, about has nothing to do with the price of tea in China and what we're doing here. Well, go on, get out of here. I mean, it could do with the present in China. Bye. I mean, it could very well lead to that. Goodbye. Goodbye, son. Move. I'm so happy I picked this person to be my mother. <laughs> it's happy to say hey. Hey. Like, he, he, he really don't, don't, he don't care. None of them. They just come interrupt me. <laughs> Jania, shalom, shalom. Look, girl, well, I started watching that little series last night while I was up doing their hair. Up to midnight. Oh, my gosh. I had planned to do one of they, only one of their heads. Then it got good and it started going into the second episode and third episode. I'm sitting there palm I'm like, oh, my gosh. What? I'm probably finished watching it. Over the next few days, Brian Joe, Shalom, Shalom, Prince, Shalom, Shebrew. Hey, girl. Hey, look. I'm still waiting for my um my new thick book to come in. The the Radiance Jank. A few people didn't got this. They didn't send me pictures. I'm like, oh shoot. I'm running to the door looking, waiting for the UPS man. Hmm. I know mine's coming today. <laughs> nope. They ain't showed up yet. Did they say that book by the stickest Owaspi? It's the Elois, the printers, they printed the, the Radiance Jank. And I looked at the table of contents. Somebody sent me a screenshot of the table of contents of what's in there. And I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about cracking this jank open. I don't know if we're going to add it to the lineup yet. I got to look at it and see. I think like the first half of it is like newsletters from um, earlier times. But I'm, I'm really curious in the rest of those books that's listed for the last half of the book, though. Yeah. Okay, y'all, let me get back to this real quick. Face to face. Verse 9. And God, Neph said, 
one favor, O Ah, son of Jehovah, I ask of thee, which is that thou shalt tarry three days and honor the throne of God, for I will have it founded and ready, and my lords shall have the honor of speaking to thee face to face. Ah, son of Jehovah, said, By thy permission, O Jehovah, I will tarry three days and three nights with thy son, God of heaven and earth, and I will honor his throne and speak face to face with his lords that I may win their love. In three days' time, the kingdom of God was founded and situated in atmosphere near and over the land of Japheth, China. But the plateau extended with two wings so as to embrace Shem and Ham, India and Egypt, and thither went the gods with their lords and attendants. Okay. Verse 12. Now there were with God, Neph, two million spirits, earthborn, in the second resurrection, who had volunteered to serve another 200 years for the founding of the new kingdom of heaven, and they were well learned in official capacity, knowing how to found plateaus with factories, mansions, hospitals, nurseries, and all such places as are required in heaven for the newborn, so that God only had to say, Do ye thus or so, and it was done, and without error. And now, from the host of Ah, son of Jehovah, there came before God half a million Ethereum volunteers who desired to remain 200 years with God and his host. And God said to them, Behold, the earth hath passed Tristia, and it is no longer lawful for any but earthborn to hold the places of sub-gods and sub-lords and marshals. And since ye are from different stars raised and from different Ethereum circuits, what shall I do that ye may be honored? And also profitable to yourselves in development. Do me a favor. Ask Bella to uh, take the iPad for a second. And I want you to take a picture of the loft in your bedroom. And bring it to me so I can see. Thank you. And it better be clean like I like it clean. Well, Bella's stuff in there. Well, I'm going well, to you gonna, I'm gonna guess you're going to need to talk to her. I have her take her toys to her room. <gasps> they, they be trying to get me. Yes, done. Yeah, go take a picture because they know I'm recording, right? Take a picture and show me what it looked like. Let me read verse 14 again. God said to them, Behold, the earth hath passed Triesta, and it is no longer lawful for any but earthborn to hold the places of sub gods and sub lords and marshals. And since ye are from different stars raised and from different Ethereum circuits, what shall I do that ye may be honored and also profitable to yourselves in development? Gitavia, chief, spoke, chief spokesman, spokesman for them, said, We desire to be laborers only, but what is 200 years to us? We pray thee, appoint us not to the Ehings, for they are already advanced, but upon us to the natives and the divisions of the earth, especially to those who speak but little and who borrow in the ground. Neither do we desire a place in thy heaven, but we will abide with mortals and in the first resurrection of those who are born in darkness. God said, Thou shalt remain and thy people with thee, for since thou hast volunteered to leave thy high estate and come and dwell for one day and on the lowest of all places, laboring for the blind and dumb, thou shalt be recompensed with the love of millions in time to come. And after and dwell for one day, and after Dan is reference letter E. So remember the reference letters for this book is on page 83. And E says... This is only a sub-cycle, Dan, which is why it endures only 200 years. Okay, go back to verse 17. Then God departed, and Ah, son of Jehovah, went with him, and they came into the midst of the kingdom of God, whereat they halted. And God said, Here will I build my throne. And inasmuch as Sathantes in the olden time called his place Horrid, so will I call my place Horrid also. And on the earth it shall be called the mountain of God, for it shall be my home. So God stretched forth his hand to Jehovah, saying, Throne of thy throne, O Father. And there came down from heaven 
above, and there came down from the heavens above a great light, and it settled around about in the midst of the place of God and of Jehovah's Son. And presently the light gathered up of the atmosphere and substance and made it shining and condensed, whereupon the attendants who do such matters bought and laid the throne of God, and thereafter fenced it around with pillars of fire after the manner of Horit in the I'm sorry, of Horit of the ancient days. And God ascended and sat on the throne, and off also sat on the right hand of God, and the four lords of the earth on the left hand, but the fifth Lord, Eolate, stood down at the foot. And he said, Behold the visions of the earth that was mine is sunk beneath the sea. How then shall I sit on the throne of God? Yeah, buddy. You don't get a seat right now. Because <laughs> you didn't let that get all out of whack. We had to sink the whole place. Hold on. Let me stop. They're going to show him some mercy. Let me read verse 19 again. And God ascended and sat on the throne. And off also sat on the right hand of God. And the four lords of the earth on the left hand. But the fifth lord, Eolate, stood down at the foot. And he said, Behold, the division of the earth that was mine is sunk beneath the sea. How then shall I sit on the throne of God? God said, Since thy labor hath been taken from thee, thou art, thou art as a parable on the newly dead who have lost the earth, but have no place in heaven. Since the easy and serveth the time through the proxy of others, so shalt thou in that which I will bestow upon thee. Know then, thou shalt sit on my right hand. Verse 20, page 73. God says, Since thy labor hath been taken from thee, thou art as a parable on the newly dead who have lost the earth but have no place in heaven. Since the easing serve of the time through the proxy of others, so shall thou in that which I bestow upon thee. Know then thou shalt sit on my right hand, for thou shalt be my assistant and vice God during the time of my sojourn, and after that whatsoever thou wilt. Eolet said, Thou hast honored me, O God, Jehovah's will be done. So God rose up, raising his hand, and said, O thou all light, crown thou thy son, vice God of Horeb, for thine own glory forever. Yes. Yes. Yeah, no. Did you say, oh, what's your name? What's your face? Clear ears. Do we get our switch? And the room. Don't forget the room. The whole room. Yeah. I don't want nothing pushed under them beds. Check that closet. Make sure the dirty clothes are in the hamper. Clothes are hung up. And I would like them dresses cleaned off. All them folded clothes y'all got sitting on top of it need to make their way into some type of drawer on a hanger, please. And thank you. Yes. What? 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 Thank you for waiting back. You're welcome. Huh? Page 73. Verse 21. Eolate said, Thou hast honored me, O God. Jehovah's will be done. So God rose up, raising his hand, and said, O thou all light, crown thou thy son, vice God of Horat, for thine own glory forever. And as the light of Etheria descended into God's right hand, he shaped it into a crown and placed it on Eolate's head with the usual ceremony of such rank in heaven. And Eolet came and sat on the right hand of God. And in that same time, off, son of Jehovah rose up, whereupon God and the lords and all people whatsoever sat down, for the place was as if Jehovah had appeared in person. Why is going to be right there? Okay, so I can't really see. Okay, so why is that still sitting in here? Why are those folded and sitting on the chair? They should be in the closet. Mom. Yeah. Tell some. Mom, yes, hold on. Mom, tell some. And all that stuff needs to be taken off from dresses. And I think the boys. Every single thing. 
Every single thing. I Mom. cannot lose that. Mom, it's look. a shirt that's still in the package. So Put Mom, it in look. the drawer. I'll take it out of the package and hang Mom, it up. Mommy, look. Mommy, yeah. look. Mommy, look. Mom, too I sad. Did, I did the boy room. Mom, too oh, sad. Very good. Mom. What I didn't see is the picture under y'all three beds. I've cleaned my... Go take Go take it. Go. Okay, go, go, go. Mom, go. Yes. Tell son, don't hit me in the back of my head. It's gonna my sake his hands with cell. Why, y'all? Why? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Tabitha. Look, okay. Let me read verse 22 again. Oh, yeah. 21 minutes, and we didn't get into anything yet. Okay. And as the light of Ethereum descended into God's right hand, he shaped it into a crown and placed it on Yolate's head with the usual ceremony of rank, of such rank in heaven. And Yolate came and sat on the right hand of God. And in the same time, and in that same time, off, son of Jehovah, rose up whereupon God and the lords and all people whatsoever sat down for the place was as if Jehovah had appeared in person off said as a father is made to comprehend his only early life by looking on his infant son so hast thou O Jehovah forever raised up before my eyes the images of times and conditions long past that's good let me read that again as a father is made to comprehend his own early life by looking on his infant son, so has thou, O Jehovah, forever raised up before my eyes the images of times and conditions long past. In these, thy lords, thou hast called me back to the time and place when first thou and thy son crowned me a lord and a vice lord over one of the divisions of my native star. And my soul rose up to thee in fear and prayer, for I understood how unmindful men and angels are of the labor of gods and lords, and prone to rate themselves as chief chiefs of all created things. But thy voice, O Jehovah, came to me, saying, Complain not, my son, against the self-conceit of men and angels, nor of their criticisms of my gods and lords. For to such boasters do I provide trials. Mm, let's remember that. Let us not boast against men, gods and lords. If you don't want to be thrown into an unnecessary trial to teach you why you shouldn't be complaining. My father, forgive me. I'm sorry. You know what? I am lacking information here. Please don't hold that against me. I'm learning. Shh, I'm going to keep quiet. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead with the lesson. <laughs> I ain't trying to take no unnecessary lessons. Look. But thy voice, O Jehovah, came to me saying, Complain not, my son, against the self-conceit of men and angels, nor of their criticisms of my gods and lords. For to such boasters do I provide trials, which they perceive not, till they are encompassed therewith. Suffer them, therefore, within thy dominions to grow in their own glory, for I have sufficient labor for them, either on earth or in heaven. And I perceived thy wisdom, and I applied it through my angels. And when my people rose to the first resurrection and the second resurrection, behold, I knew where to place them that they might prove themselves all in all. And then thy light, and thy light came upon me in my place, saying, As thou hast profited in the first lesson, so shalt thou comprehend the second, and even to the ethereal heavens. Nevertheless, O Father, thou sufferest all things to harass me and perplex my soul. And I was filled with fear and reverence because of the great responsibility thou gavest into my keeping. So great were my tribulations and trials that I called out to thee in thy holy place to remember all other gods and lords in thy whole universe. And thou saidest, Hear the words of thy creator, thou my God, my son. For I created man to enter heaven as helpless as he entered earth life and depended on those above him that he might comprehend the unity between high and low, strong and weak, light and darkness. And I placed him in my meals wherein he should learn that even as others grind for him, so should he grind for those beneath him. 
For of what profit under the sun is it for my lords to come down from their liberty and glory and my ethereal firmament and become lords over the grovelers in flesh or over the easy ends in darkness? Shall selfishness reign in heaven and every one for himself? Have I not proved it on the earth that the love of doing good works unto others is all that ensures a rich harvest of love in return? Oh, this is so good. Because they, we're going to page 74, 74 um, verse 29. Because they stoop from their high estate in order to promote my children, which I created alive, are they not becoming the more one with me? Even so is all exaltation in heaven. Turn that y'all. Bruno Mars. Okay. Verse 29. Because they stoop from their high estate in order to promote my children, which I created alive, are they not becoming the more one with me? Even so is all exaltation in heaven. For as I stoop down to the dumb earth and water and quicken them, making man, so have I stooped lower than can anything of all my universe. And they that do after my example, raising them up to make them have joy in life, are on the road to attain all power and wisdom and love. I don't know why I didn't highlight this whole section when I first read through this. I'm just marking up as I go now. This is good. Verse 30, page 74. Nazarene is saying, Shalom, Shalom. Ah, son of Jehovah said, I perceive thy wisdom, O Father, and thy power and wisdom came upon me tenfold. Then I sought forever after to go to the lowest and darkest places. But lo, when I had grown in thy judgment, thou speakest again to me, saying, O Af, my son, because thou hast found the key to unlock the doors to the highest heavens, behold, thou art too mighty for small labor. Come therefore with my creator, I'm sorry, come therefore with thy creator, for I have a whole ethereal world at thy command, and thy wisdom and power are required at my hand. Oh, that's good. That's what I'm talking about, I. Let me read it again. O Af, my son, because thou hast found the key to unlock the doors to the highest heavens, behold, thou art too mighty for small labor. Come therefore with thy creator, for I have a whole ethereal world at thy command, and thy wisdom and power are required at my hand. And I obeyed thy call, O Jehovah. And then again, after a season, thou calledest me again and again, and madest my labors to extend into many ethereal worlds. But I love to look back and glorify thee for my first lorddom, and to treasure up the millions of loves I have found in those days. And again, O Father, hast thou blessed me to meet many millions of them in this pruning of the red star of the earth. Now thou hast called me to speak on the throne of thy God of earth. Alas, thy God has said, O Af, son of Jehovah, come thou and honor my throne. Whereas, O Jehovah, I am the most honored of men and gods, because I have again opened my mouth before thee, and in thy name. All glory be to thee, O Jehovah, now and forever. Amen. I added amen to that. It's not in here. I added it. Then off. Son of Jehovah sat down, and God signaled to the marshals who proclaimed freedom for two whole days. And thereupon, the gods and goddesses of Af's staff filed past the throne, and after them came the host of God, and then the host of the lords, for they all desired to pass near and look upon Af and receive the signal of his blessing. And presently, thereafter, all the people joined in with the Essenars and sang a song of glory unto Jehovah, the All-Highest. And when it was finished, the multitude turned to recreation and social intercourse. Oh, yeah. We had 30 minutes exactly. Let me read this one more chapter. It's nine verses because I made a mark in here and I put Enoch. So let's read it. 
I forgot what I put Enoch for. Okay, chapter 9, or if you got the electronic version, it says chapter IX. That's chapter 9. When the time came, God called his proper officers, and they proclaimed his presence, whereupon the people came to order. And God said, this is his bed. That's on Isaiah's bed. Couldn't you have removed the pencil before you took the picture? I didn't even know it was there. You knew it while you was coming down the stairs because you had the picture ready for me to look at. So you knew it was still something under his bed. I got There's rid still of a it. pencil I got rid under of his it. bed. I said, get everything from under the bed. That's mm. You're right. Should I be petty this morning? No. Call me Petty Pale. No. No. Please this is, don't. Th this is not complete. I need you to go to remove that pencil. From I under did. His bed. <laughs> well, go take a picture of no pencil under his bed. Let me do it. Can't I just edit that thing out? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. They grab more property. The longer you talk, the more minutes you lose them. When the time came, God called his proper officers and they proclaimed his presence, whereupon the people came to order. And God said, Even as it was before the submersion, so shall it be so shall it now be, and ye shall fill the same places, even as before, every one to the place provided. And nevertheless, from this time forth, all work in heaven and on earth shall be new, and as if nothing had ha had been. Hold on. Nevertheless, from this time forth, all work in heaven and on earth shall be new and as if nothing had been. Let my lords and their attendants and their ashars prepare for their departure and from such other volunteers as have come into my kingdom, they shall receive as they desire and be assigned to labor suited to them, whether it be with mortals or with spirits in the first resurrection. And to my marshals, messengers, and asaphs, hear ye the word of your God, which is that ye proceed throughout atmosphere, selecting and appropriating all suitable places for the spirits of the dead, and that ye apportion builders and workmen, and erect factories and schools and hospitals and nurseries and all other suitable places adapted to receiving those of the first resurrection, as is done in all atmosphere in heavens, and all who are thus received shall be called Esens for the first five years. Come on, but man. after that, they shall be called Esens, signifying having separated from corporal desire, being full residents of the S world. But those who will not become Esens, being the spirits of the Druk mortals and hard bound to the earth, shall be called Druhas, signifying wandering spirits of darkness and evil, and those who engraft themselves on mortals shall be called fetals, signifying sucklings, and these names shall continue in heaven and on earth to the end of the world. We got two pictures. Okay. And the floor. You took the pencil and put it in here. No, we didn't. That was always there. Okay. Well, at least it's in a closet in a bucket. Okay. That's my mother. Zay, stop! That was before. This is after. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me verify that that is. Okay, that's your bed. That's that same mark on your bed. What you do with that gun that was right there? Is it still right there? Because I can't see it. That Nerf gun right there. Is it? I bet right there. So, um, once we're about to fight in Nerf War, I'm going Nerf War. <laughs> Once I watch the game of war, it's, it's ready. What is the deal with you clearing your throat? So I can talk better. I mean, you gotta clear it like that? Yes. Okay. Alright, really? We put the nerf, right. we put the nerf guns by our bed so we can be ready for the Murph War. Ready for the Murph War, okay. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> Verse 4. Wherein ye may mis wherein ye may perceive the fall of leniency of the gods and lords of old. Be ye circumspect in these times, for nevermore shall the rod of water chasten the living earth. When God thus completed all his commandments and the people were ready to depart, the Essenars and trumpeters sang and played a hymn adapted to the new heaven and new earth. And when this was finished, Ah, son of Jehovah, spake, saying, Behold, the light of the high heaven opens. 
Thy son, O Jehovah, longeth for great labor. I go on a journey farther than 10,000 sons. Theotisi, thy daughter, O Jehovah, and goddess of a thousand worlds, have set apart to join two corporal stars in a far off heaven, whereon a thousand million shall be delivered into spirit life in a single day. With her, by thy will and power, O Jehovah, I go. But yet, let not these, thy gods and lords, and all their hosts, surmise, I will forget one single soul of all that are here. And when thy next day appeareth, behold, I will return to them to enjoy a portion of their sweet love. Off is done. It's like he dropped the mic and said, off is out. Off is done. And now the chief descended and sat, and now the chief descended and sat at the foot of the throne, and God, suffused with tears, came down and took his hand, saying, Behold, he who was greatest maketh himself least of all. Arise, O Ah, son of Jehovah, and crown immortal God of the Ark of No, son of the Almighty. Arise and go thy way. So Ah rose up, and shaking hands with God and his lords, Descended to the borders beyond the foot of the pillars of fire, and his host with him, being ten million in number, where the proper persons had in readiness, and ascending Otivan with wings, wherein they all entered. At a given signal, the Otivan started upward, but toward the east, and swift as a shooting star, it sped forth, and presently disappeared into the distance." And that's the end of chapter 10. That's interesting. The last two nights, Jeremiah has seen shooting stars um, going across the sky. It's... What? Yeah. So aren't they just burning something? Internet. Mom, didn't you know this? Shooting stars are actually um, um, a fragment of a Fragment of a planning um, or Saturn's ring. No, it's a burning star. A burning star. You say it's a burning star. It's a fragment of Saturn's ring. Or um, I don't even know how many rings Saturn has. What if? Saturn is the what if I still acting up? Am I glitching? Probably. Is it still glitching? It's buffering. It says it's fine over here. For a second, it popped up, but it says it's fine now. Is it still buffering? Oh, my God. I guess it's still buffering. Nobody answered. Hold on. Laura is not said no. Oh, okay. Better? It's better? Okay. No, it's better. It's good? It's good now. Okay. No ball. Cool. All right. I got to keep looking up just making sure it's good. Okay. If it start acting up, if I see it popping up again, I probably stop it and just start a fresh stream. If not, we'll stay here. Or if it's too bad, if it's buffering for you, just hop over to Facebook. I don't think we're having any issues over there. Okay. Okay. So let's hop over here. Yeah. One second, y'all. All right. And make sure you, you got to turn it down to the, too loud. Or you can actually, you can sit in there at the big table, okay? Okay. Go ahead and get your stuff set up in the big dining room. Okay. Chapter 7, Countless Mental Vagaries. Let me, yes, thanks, Jamia, for posting a link for Facebook. Um, Fritz, shalom, shalom. Okay, look. I want to say something. Jamil, this whole series on Amazon, the series, Jamil told me about a series that she had watched during uh, COVID, right? It is really, really interesting. It's called Evil, E-V-I-L. Now, mind you, I looked at it, but it, it seemed the, 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 um, the information about what the series is about was really intriguing to me. Now, mind you, I don't do scary, right? Now, it's not necessarily scary. It did start getting into some parts that I assumed were scary until it started breaking it down. It started deconstructing the scary scene. I was like, oh, okay, because I thought I was about to have to cut this off and pray my house out. <laughs> Look. Hold on. 
but it's something really it, it's really really interesting right and i think that uh, i got through like three episodes it's it's three different i believe it's three seasons right jamil um but this first season it's about um people who are having uh mental breakdowns oh, can y'all hear me is it breaking up am i clear i'm good okay okay all right so it's given it's almost like split right um so far from what i've seen but it gives you okay so it's about this um uh, it's about this dude who's in training to be a priest right um and there he got two unbelieving people working with him trying to prove these cases so they're working on a lot of different cases they're working them one by one to try and see if they're actually demon possessed if they got multiple personality disorder and all these different things I was like oh my gosh this is a wonderful series to watch while we're doing with this right so it actually um there was one in here that uh the the the, the gentleman who was claiming uh, uh insanity or a multiple personal multiple personality disorder in court right so he was working i'm not gonna tell you everything but um i'm gonna see if i can find clips of it but it reminded me of the little case study we did yesterday reading about the 10 year old boy a true case a demonic possession or do you think he just playing a part and he playing crazy right listen i said i think it's real because he said um there are five is 10 years old but then somebody said he probably playing it because what if he grew up around people who played the part of crazy and he know how to he know how to do that yes it's called evil I've only watched season one, but there's three seasons. Season one was, was excellent. Can't watch. Can't wait to watch season two and three. Right? I'm on episode three. Y'all get time. Y'all gotta watch it. Like it's now. I'm not. If you got Amazon Prime, it wasn't free for me. I'm not sure if it was free when you watched it, Jamil. Um, but I had to pay for it. I just went ahead and paid for the whole first season just to kind of go through. But I, it is what I've seen so far is really excellent. Now there is a guy in there. Now it's some people in there. They truly got some things going on and the whole point of them working these cases because people they have people that they recommend or they got up and got in some legal trouble they didn't kill somebody they trying to figure out if this truly a mental on and if so so they had an exorcist on staff and they said well the church is not putting out these funds to pay it was free then yeah you got to pay for it now I think I paid like $20 for the whole season. So check around. It's free somewhere. Or y'all can check around. It's called Evil. E-V-I-L. And I'm going to show a screenshot just to make sure you get the right thing. Um, so they said, well, in order for the exorcist to be out here on these cases to actually do an exorcism, we need to actually verify if they real, for real, for real crazy, and there's multiple people in, inhabiting this person, or they just playing a part. And there was one up there who was actually playing the part of being crazy. Actually had me fooled at the beginning. And as, as it was going through, I'm like, holy crap. I'm like, dude, crazy, crazy. Crap. I was like, yo, he got, he, he got something really going on with him. Till they got the lawyer who had been, um, there was a lawyer who was actually working this case and she got pretty much replaced, kind of got fired. And so the, the priest and trainer who had this other IT guy, he needed to work out all the kinks and just make sure people ain't being too overly spiritual or believing things to be when it could actually be, when it can actually be deconstructed. Like, okay, so what is this noise? Did this weird? Was this man, is this a demonic voice? And so the IT guy comes in under the sink because the woman recorded this sound is this the sound you heard oh my gosh because the way they showed the scene when she heard the noise i'm like dude is growling it's crazy and then he deconstructed what they thought was a demonic possession um and it just like boom it just kind of it washed some theories away. Okay, so if this was that, then what was this? Okay, so then they started talking about science a little bit. It is really, really good, right? Like, that's one I'm going to recommend y'all watch. So remember, going into it, if you're a little scary like I am, just remember, 
some of the things so far, at least from what I see, my I'm only on episode three, because I'm sure there's going to be some real life cases. And there was like a real live case in there where somebody was really hearing voices um, and it told them to do things. But it, it makes you really a uh, close look, you know, and just make sure you're not being overly spiritual and make sure you you're not being foolish in your assessment and for those who are in training to actually have assessments about people so those who are truly having issues with demonic infestation or multiple personality disorder or something else we can truly get them the help that they need and they had an exorcist on staff when they actually filtered through the cases and found ones that were truly People who were truly struggling and crying out and they were being taken over by other spirits inside them. It is absolutely excellent. Never heard of it before um, Jamia mentioned it to me yesterday. So, um, yeah, you definitely, I agree. You definitely will not regret watching it. Especially since we're going through this, you know, and with some of the real live cases happening around us. The Walmart shooting and the guy saying that and in his little note... I didn't want to kill anybody. I didn't want this, but the Satan or something, I screenshot it, but I deleted it from my pictures because my kids get in my stuff and I don't want them reading stuff like that. But he, and now other information coming out multiple months. And it's not really um, the people who show up to the scene afterward that's going to really be able to dig into that case. It's the people who've been present with him every single day. And there is one lady who quit earlier in the year because of him. And she said when she heard that a shooting had gone on at that Walmart, she said she knew immediately before they she even talked to anybody or before they made his identity known that it was him. And she started sharing a little bit of things that was happening while she was working there. And she told management, y'all should probably get him evaluated because he's saying and he's doing some disturbing things, right? Which now why there is a lawsuit against Walmart for not taking heed to some of these complaints and recommendations from some people about this particular guy right so there's flag red flags that lead up to all of this stuff so i'm like when i say I'm, I'm on some of these cases especially right here in my backyard like here in chesapeake well i'm like on the chesapeake suffolk line but our company is still in chesapeake you know so but i'm just like yo wait a minute and so now that i'm reading this i'm really looking at this stuff with a very very close eye and paying attention to things and little red flags even looking at my family members a little bit different and paying attention to my children. Because, you know, sometimes children have the tendency to be whiny sometimes. And I want to make sure that I'm not overlooking their complaints, right? Because when they complain, it's really big to them, right? But sometimes it's like, if you don't get out of here with all that and stop all that whining, you know, I don't, I don't want to be like that. Because there is a case in there and evil in there. And I forget which episode i wanted was say it was two or three where there's a child involved and oh my gosh whoo it was hard to watch that one you know so but it's 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 really really interesting and i'm i'm actually glad they did a series like this is kind of bringing more light to the the, the mental illness thing that's going on right y'all if it is it still glitching really bad Yeah, it's just called evil, not the evil. It's just evil. You know, I'm wondering if this is my network, but I'm not. Am I still glitching? Some book is now going in and out, so I'm thinking it might be mine. I might, I might be glitching. Am I still glitching? Randomly. Okay, hold on. What is this? It's not constant. I just restarted all this shit. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if it's inside the house because nobody else is complaining. So I'm, I'm going to just kind of keep going. I'm going to just keep going. Like if it gets, it's glitchy too. Let's just do this. Let me just stop everything and I'm going to restart it. Just come back in a couple minutes. I'm going to end everything and I'm going to restart it. All right. Okay. I'll be right back on both places.